Major news from our nation's capital tonight. The Defense Department confirming U.S. Space Command will have its permanent home in Colorado Springs. After more than two years of debate, this is the official word that stakeholders here have been waiting for. Mayor Yemi Mobilade, former Mayor John Southers, the Chamber, EDC, saying this decision puts politics aside, focuses on the best interest of national security. Today, we learned President Biden told Southers he was focused on keeping Space Command in the Springs before the Air Force graduation ceremony. Southers says this decision is huge for the future of our city, meaning more businesses in the defense industry expanding here. A lot of companies feel like they need to locate a lot in the uh, defense industry where the Space Command headquarters is. A lot of them are here. They'll increase their presence. Others will move here. Uh, it's huge in that re respect. Now that decision also huge for the 1,500 or so military and civilian employees at Space Command. They are the ones who have to what is happening with that decision the past two years or so. Now those families do not have to keep contemplating relocation. Today's contemplating relocation. Today's decision is one that the head of Space Command at Peterson Space Force Base is standing by. We're getting reaction tonight from General James Dickinson. He released a statement reading in part, I welcome this final basing decision. Since its establishment in 2019, U.S. Space Command has been focused on operating and delivering exquisite capacity to the joint force to deter and, if needed, prevail in conflict. State officials celebrating the good news for Colorado Springs. It's a battle some of them have been wait fighting for the past two years. Among those most vocal in keeping Space Command in Colorado, Congressman Doug Lamborn. It needed to happen. It should have happened. But to actually see it take place is one of the most amazing things I've ever experienced. And it was a bipartisan push. Let's not forget that. Lamborn dismissing pushback, by the way, from Alabama leaders tonight. He says the decision has been made. It's a done deal. Now, among the Alabama officials speaking out, Senator Tommy Tuberville, in a statement released tonight, he said, quote, this is absolutely not over. I will continue to fight this as long as it takes to bring Space Command where it would be best served, Huntsville, Alabama. Not sure what he's referring to to make this change. Senator Tuberville also questioned whether the Air Force illegally used taxpayer dollars to upgrade facilities at Peterson Space Force Base. Well, one thing that was common in pushback from Alabama leaders there, well, government leaders cite a government assessment, a survey of potential locations. Actually, Huntsville, Alabama ranked first in that assessment, while Colorado Springs placed fifth. Ultimately, that assessment was just a survey, as we found out tonight. Springs will be the permanent home of Space Command.